when you head up north on Highway 11, pretty much compulsory to stop off at Weber's for a hamburger. Hi, and welcome to Yup, It's Red. In this episode, we're heading up north to the Calabogie area for a ride to camp. This year, we're heading up to the Black Donald Tent and Trailer Park in Calabogie, Ontario. When I got to the site, I found a note left by some BMW owners giving us some tips. I was the first one on site, so I got my hammock set up sat in a chair, read a trashy novel, and waited for the others to show up. Gerhardt and Dave were next to arrive. Terry arrived on Friday, and others were either in a motel or another trailer park. Gerhardt has a chocolate shop in Exeter, and he always brings treats that are thematic. On Friday, about 10 of us riders gathered at the Calabogie General Store and soon departed to Wilma. And of course, if you're in Wilno, you'll have to stop off at the Wilno Tavern for lunch. That's what we did. I had a platter of pierogies and sausage. Very tasty. All right, this is the Saturday of the ride to camp. Three of us are taking the West Halliburton Loop. I have Gerhard and Northern Tour behind me, not in that order. It's going to be a cool day today. It's about 18 degrees Celsius potential of rain. Hopefully we can skirt that. We shall see how it goes. Anyway, the excitement continues. I'm on Centennial Road now. I'm using scenic apps. And I plotted this course in couple of days ago and they may have made a mistake already the app was constantly recalculating and that's all I heard in my hearing aids recalculating route We made it to the Shamrock Cafe. Nice little cafe out in the middle of nowhere. Had a bit of pastry. Nice. We're back on the road again. I'm not liking the scenic app. It's giving me grief. I will admit to that. I had to stop a few times on the side of the road to confer with my riding buddies on the proper route. So 
but somehow we've managed to find a good road. We're off to Poland next. We uh, just stopped to uh, do a little bit of B-roll with the drone. piloting to do. They consented to do another pass. Seems to be a popular biker's road. Well, I'm attempting to make it to Poland. I've uh, majorly screwed this up because I thought these back roads would were paved for one thing, and they would take us on some nice little twisty roads. Well, the roads are kind of twisty, but they're full of gravel, and we have to watch out for dune buggies. So it is um, quite creative. As you are experiencing with me right now.
the boys catch up to me. Now, let's sort out where we are. If I continue in the direction I was going, Kalabogi, where I need to get to, is 59 kilometers. If I was going the other way, back from where I came, it's 70 kilometers. We finally made it to Poland. I didn't have any video of it. It's a nice little community. Snow Road. We went to Poland. Who would have thunk? And it was a pretty little community as well. This is County Road 16. And this is the reward for riding on gravel for the last hour. And I kind of think it's a nice reward. It's just getting weird, all right? <laughs> On Sunday, we pack up camp and make preparations to head home. In spite of my navigation blunders, we all had a great time. Have you ever ended up on a snowmobile trail on your motorcycle? Let me know of your experiences in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you wish to subscribe, please do so.